Last week, Jamestown Public Schools released their budget for the next academic year. Included in the spending plan are big cuts to district programming. Yesterday, Jamestown School Superintendent Dr. Brett Athorpe explained how significant the cuts were and that it was not an easy decision to make. The pandemic hit. Uh, the governor revised his revenue forecast for schools, and uh, that forced us to make a uh, almost a $4 million reduction in aid. And the worst thing about this, uh, one of the worst things about this is that was his speculation. We still do not know officially what our aid will be from the state government. Joining us on the show is two students from the district, Hope Smith, a senior, and Gavin Swanson, a junior, who both attend the P-TECH school in Chautauqua County, which was cut from the budget. I thank you both for joining me today. Yeah. That's great to be here, Justin. First off, let's start with Hope. Since learning of the closure of the Success Academy and the unenrollment from the P-TECH program, how have you and your family been impacted by it? Well, um, as you stated, I am a senior uh, through the P-TECH program, and I have been going to the school since I was in eighth grade. Um, we were, I was on track to um, start my class, um, finalize my college classes at JCC uh, for the last two years of my degree. Uh, we were all on, all on track starting, uh, figuring out the classes I would be taking next year and finding that all out. We were noted, um, last week we were notified that we would no longer be continuing P-TECH due to budget cuts and everything that's going off which was a huge surprise to everyone involved in the PTEC program and just everyone in general. Nobody really saw this coming or understood why it was us. Um, on top of that, my little brother, who is 10 years old, uh, goes to the Success Academy, which is a new program in Jamestown um, that deals with uh, specialized learning for children uh, that may not have done so well in traditional schooling. So three days later, we got the call that also his school would be was being shut down. So my so my family uh, kind of got two blows all at once, saying that with my mom being told that both of her children's schools are being canceled. So it was really a uh, hard hit, but we don't want to just take that hit and just kind of go with it and and kind of just knew nothing about it. We want to share our story out there and explain how amazing both of these programs are and show how successful and amazing and beneficial they are to these students and yeah. let everyone else out there know just what we know here and about these programs because they are yeah. very small programs and many people don't know about them. Yeah, and, and we, we thank you for coming on and, and sharing with us. Gavin, your mother tells us that the P-TECH program really gave you a leg up on education, so to speak, preparing to enter the workforce, especially after graduation. How will not having that resource going forward impact you? Well, it's a huge impact to me, Justin. Um, with the cancellation of the P-TECH program from Jamestown, it does a little bit more to the students than what we think the board thinks. Um, P-TECH students, we, we, go to, we make the commitment, a six-year commitment in eighth grade to get our associate's degree in a technical field in mechanical technology. And us students start working on that degree starting in 10th grade. So I only take one high, high school class this year, and the rest of them are JCC classes towards my associate's degree in mechanical technology. And with the cancelization of the program, and I have to go back to Jamestown High School, Jamestown High School isn't offer, able to offer me the AP credits that I need to be competitive um, in the, J, the top 20% of the high school graduates of Jamestown to get JCC for free to continue my degree. So it's setting us back in that aspect. And also, we are being stripped of our college education. You know, us 19 students, we made that commitment, as I said. And now, after working on our degrees and putting in that hard work and getting up early and traveling farther, we are no longer able to see that out. Yeah, and certainly the impacts are, are absolutely huge for, for you and your, your fellow students who attend those programs. 
Yesterday, Superintendent uh, Dr. Brett Athorpe did talk to us about the impacts of it, and he addressed uh, students like you who are affected. Take a listen. I think that the great opportunity here is that when things get back to, quote, normal and, and the financials are straightened out, um, Jamestown has the Manufacturing Institute down by JCC, which is an unbelievable manufacturing facility. And um, I think that the opportunity would be to have a, a, a rebirth of the P-TECH program and have it here in Jamestown for Jamestown students. And uh, instead of serving 19 students, let's serve several hundred students. Now, hearing that, Hope and Gavin, what do you want to tell the school administration? Gavin, let's start with you. Well, what I have to say to that is that PTEC, us 19 students that have been attending PTEC for the past five years, um, some of which, none of us have even finished the program. So uh, we are being cut from the program without even finish. Not one Jamestown student has finished the program. And uh, unlike other programs that could be brought back in the middle of the year, if funding becomes available, PTEC isn't that type of program. You can, once disenrolled from the program, as Jamestown has proposed to do at June 30th, we're no longer able to be re-enrolled in the program according to the current rules that PTEC has set right now. So what I want the administration to hear is that, as Mr. Apthorpe said, we wanted to start our own PTEC. Well, let's finish out the PTEC that we have started first and then work on making a PTEC in Jamestown. Um, also on that is the school budget. It's not $400,000 a year to the taxpayers, as Mr. Apthorpe said. Um, it gets dra dramatically reduced by state funding. And also, Mr. Apthorpe said this is a pandemic budget this year. And there are extracurricular activities in the funding for that budget. And I, and along with my other PTEC students who have discussed this, wonder how an educational program, a totally educational program, could be completely removed from the budget when extracurriculars and sports, which are still important, are still included in this year's budget. We need an essential budget, not a pandemic budget. Now, Hope, what is the message that you want to convey to those in the administration in Jamestown schools? Um, well, I well I believe that adding more programs like PTEC and adding uh, these specialized programs for manufacturing and uh, all these different pathways is a great idea. It doesn't take away what PTEC is. Uh, taking these 19 students and relocating them will not even if it is in a program like P-TECH, it will not create the same results. Uh, P-TECH is a lot more than just the classes and the building and the program. It is all uh, the teachers and the connections that we make there are so incredible and unique that changing that and bringing that to Jamestown and trying to recreate that, and especially on a large scale, like he said, would be nearly impossible. The connections made at P-TECH over a four to five to five years for some students uh, really create a personal opinion and the teachers are dedicated to each student uh, to focus on their individual needs and the smallness in the community is one thing that makes the, uh, the program so great. We have all of these different teachers focusing on the students. So to bring it, put it somewhere else and then try to mass produce it in a sense will not work as well. Um, I know that they were that one of the problems uh, for shutting us down other than the budget was the fact that we were so small. We are a very small program with only sending 19 Jamestown kids. Uh, but I don't think the number really should be, I don't think the number of kids is what we should be looking at. I think we should be looking at the successes this program has created. We have created so many leaders by them coming to this program. And I, I know that the that leaders uh, the majority of the Honor Society and Student Council is made up of Jamestown students. And that is because we were able to go to this program. I truly believe that if we were in a different program, these students wouldn't be able yeah. to succeed and excel as leaders as they were. So trying to recreate that isn't gonna work to the extent that they're hoping and create the results. Now for Hope, uh, you're a senior uh, within Jamestown School District. Normally the program continues two years so you can get that college education aspect of it. Do you know now that you're not in it what the future is? Um, 
it's the future is very uh, up in the air currently. I uh, because I've had a very um, scheduled out uh, college career since um, beginning of ninth grade. We have we were told how this all works. I have been working on college courses since I was in tenth grade, and have worked up until this year with all my college courses. Currently, I don't have enough credit to uh, gain my degree. So if I choose to go, if I choose to not continue because I can't afford it. I don't get those credits and I don't get the degree. degree. Mm. If I choose to try to continue the program, I could still get the classes and theoretically get the degree, but I lose out on everything else that P-TECH has offered me. Um, I know that P-TECH has offered me, I am currently working on obtaining my own business in LLC. Now, if I were to go to Jamestown uh, JCC, uh, that pro the program would not be able to work with me on working with that because that's not their uh, that's not their area. It's not something they can do for me necessarily. P Tech allows me to use those resources and have them help me with my goals rather than just taking the classes. So I now am left kind of alone to figure out uh, those classes and now what I will continue with my business and how I will be able to continue. Yeah, you both are so far ahead of students who normally would not have that type of resources. So, uh, so, so very proud to see that from, from young people in our community. Thank you for your dedication. Um, now that we're, we're at this point where the budget vote is coming up next week for the public, uh, Gavin, working with others in your program, what are you trying to do to educate the community on, on your story? And, and then what do you want them to ultimately do to try to help? Well, that's a great question, Justin. Um, so the se almost immediately after us 19 students found out the news that we weren't able to be attend P-TECH anymore, um, we instantly reached out to each other over social media and got together and organized to see if we can try to uh, help influence and adjust this decision once the people who made the decision knew our side of the story and the facts. So right now eight of us students have organized and are actively doing everything that we can from making and distributing a petition to go out and be signed electronically and manually and up to contacting the governor's office um, for a statement. And now really we're to the point to where we need the public's help. We, we understand the stresses this year and all of the scrutiny that's gone into making the budget, but as I said a minute ago, it is to us unfair to cut an educational program that doesn't just benefit us, but return to the community as well. See, there are manufacturers all around Western New York that partner with p -Tech and are partner with p -Tech so when we graduate the program with our skill set, we will be hired by any one of those companies um, if we apply and they can get a highly skilled worker which boosts the economy in the area. Right now the budget vote is um, planned to be held on June 9th and every Jamestown resident that's registered to vote uh, we received ours today will receive an absentee ballot in the mail to submit in back by June 9th at 5 p.m. We ask that if you hear our story and you want to help you know help us out and try to get our education back and maybe make the board reevaluate their decision and really sit down and, and think about what needs to be cut and what doesn't, um, that you, the public, could help us vote down this budget and try to get our education back. All right. Certainly a big call to action for a lot of people. And we uh, will be having more information in regards to the budget vote and uh, this story on WNYNewsNow.com and on our mobile app a little bit later on today. Hope and Gavin, thank you so much for joining us today to tell your story. We appreciate having you here. Very brave thing for you to do. Not easy to talk in this format. No, we're, we're, uh, we're pretty devastated at the news. Um, it's quite sad to hear. Yeah, certainly is. Thank you.